I have two Ipsy glam bags that I want to get through today. I believe this one is from May, and then I believe this one is from June. Going off of the bags, I definitely like this one better than this one because this bag is just, the material is so much nicer. It's a higher quality. This feels cheap, okay? It feels like something you would get off of Wish. It's like foamy. It, it feels like if I go like this, it'll rip. So I do prefer this bag over this one. They both have really cute designs. Let's go through these bags and see what we got, okay? Because I don't remember. This is the first one, absolutely adorable. I love this bag, this little cute charm. This is Ipsy on it. And the first thing that I'm pulling out is the Nutrient C eye cream by Kate Burke. And this is what it looks like. Safety seal, you know, your girl loves a good safety seal. That way I know ain't nobody been in my stuff. I haven't really been using eye creams. Y your girl's pregnant. So I'm trying not to use too many products on my face because some skincare is not good for pregnancy. So I will put this off to the side for, you know, after I give birth. The next thing that I'm pulling out is in cute little bubble wrap. And this is the Luna Magic Soft Perfection Foundation Powder. And this is what it looks like. And this is in the color medium. So hopefully, um, it might work. Let me do a little, a little swatch here. It blends out okay. Maybe with like, you know, the um, bronzer and different things like that, it might make this work. I don't own any powder foundation. I am excited to try this out and see if I like it. I do have oilier, oilier skin. So powder foundations should be my jam because it kind of soaks the oil out. But I'm used to like traditional makeup, okay? I like the little creamy kind of makeup that you put on and then, you know, you do the process. The next thing actually looks like it's full size. This is from What's Up Beauty. And this is the Egyptian Queen lipstick in the shade Seba. Seba? Seba? I don't know. But this is what it comes looking like. It has a nice plastic wrap over the top, which is good. Another way you can guarantee nobody been in your stuff. And this seems like it's a full size lipstick. Lipsy. This shade actually looks really, really pretty. Ooh, it has a cute little like indentation on the top. That's very cute. If you go to like China, a lot of their their lipsticks, if you get like traditional Chinese lipsticks, they make it with a mold that gives this beautiful like indentation and scribing on the outside of the lipstick. And it is just so freaking beautiful. This is how much product you get. Maybe this isn't full size. It, it, it might be a sample, but I mean, that's a lot of lipstick. How much lipstick are we really going through on a daily basis, especially if you got different colors and you like to switch it up? It goes down really nice. I think that is a beautiful color. I think that's gonna look really good on me actually. This this is by Symbiosis London, and this is the AHPG Hyaluronic Acid and Papaya Glycolic Extract. And this is a balancing sorbet facial cryo exfoliator. <laughs> In other words, this is a, a, a face scrub. We have a safety seal. I will try this out at a later time and let you guys know how I like her. Very cute. We love we love skincare. We love makeup. We like to have a good balance of, of the two. And the last thing that is in this bag is also bubble wraps. I think this is a palette. As far as reading that brand name, okay, they have it on the back in letters I can understand. I can't read that. What is that? Reina Rebeldi? Reina Rebelde? I don't know. I'm probably saying that all jacked up, but this is what it looks like. This is what the packaging is. Kind of a cheap, cheap plastic, which is fine. The outside packaging, if I'm paying for luxury, I want luxury. But if it's just, you know, something kind of cheapy, then I don't really care if the outside packaging is that great. Are the colors gonna show up? That's what I'm concerned with. This is what it looks like, no mirror. These are some pretty colors. I like that you have the neutrals and then this pop of blue, which makes it kind of fun. Here is the color story. I don't know why I put it on the most awkward part of my arm. It just kind of tilted in at some point. These actually show up pretty nicely. Not Patch City. This seems like a really nice palette. We're definitely gonna have to play around with her and see what kind of looks we can come up with. That was everything in my first glam bag. Let's go ahead and see what's in the next one. Again, the design is super, super cute. I do love this little tassel, bungee cord type situation going on. I just wish the material on this was a little bit nicer. It has really, really pretty yellow on the inside. The first thing that we got is from First Aid Beauty and this is the Brighten Glow Moisturizer with <laughs> They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just can't get into it because they would never understand. This is what it looks like. We do love First Aid Beauty over here. They're 
Bella. Really? We do love First Aid Beauty. I have tons of little samples and full sizes of First Aid Beauty. This is what it looks like, no safety seal. Let's try to get through this as quickly as possible because I think baby girl is getting restless. The next thing is by Yensa, and this is a Super Serum Silk Foundation. And it has vitamin C and E, uh, fer ferulic acid and bucicol or bucol, I don't know. But this is what it looks like. And this is a foundation. Hopefully it is in a color that works for me. I'm gonna go ahead and put some, I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. Girl. Be for real, boo. If you're gonna make noises, make cute noises, not scary noises. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand and see how it looks. I feel like that's too light, okay? This is a little bit too light, but I mean, it blended out pretty sheer. That still looks a little too light though, but we'll have to try it on the face and see. Sometimes, you know, you get your foundation, it oxidizes to the right color. We'll have to actually try her on the face to see if we like her. The next thing is from The Balm, is the Under Eye Super Jelly. And this is what it looks like. No safety seal, but it has a cute little applicator like this. This is the Green Tea Enzyme Vitamin C Brightening Serum. And this is by Innisfree. It comes this cute little cardboard box. Oh, this is so cute. Okay, it's one of those little, well, this one doesn't bend. <laughs> this one's a little stiff. This is what it looks like. It's just like a little serum. I do like that it says green tea. Okay, I love skincare products with green tea. This is by Sophia and Maybell, highlighter and bronzer duo. And this is the Sunlit Sand Volume 2. These are the colors we're working with. Typical highlighter, typical bronzer, nothing too crazy. This is the bronzer. <laughs> And this is the highlight. They look, they look fine. Okay, they look fine. They, they look like they'll get the job done. Products like this are perfect for travel, so I do appreciate getting them. All right, y'all, that was everything in both of my Ipsy Glam bags. I did re-sign up for the Ipsy Glam bag, so I will be getting those again because, you know, it's less expensive. The products are much smaller, so it's not as overwhelming. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely... <laughs> Subscribe so that you can become a part of the Faye Bay gang, gang, gang. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces.